Excuse me, Mr. President. We have a situation. Someone is trying to acquire Russian tactical weapons. Short range, battlefield. I don't know what they are. Sir, Al Qaeda has computed all the Muslims killed in the past 50 years. They believe they're owed four million lives. Nukes would be the fastest way to vengeance. As you know, you have hundreds of tons of nuclear materials that are not secure. We don't want spies poking ground tower facilities. We are not trying to spy, Dmitry. The tactical nukes we're worried about may come from Russia. But there's weapons, usable nuclear material in over 40 countries. The only way to stop them from exploding a nuclear bomb is to keep the components out of their hands. Together, we started trying to lock it down 10 years ago. If we had finished that job, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Don't worry, Chance. We'll find the arms there. From what we've seen, it appears to be a simple gun-type bomb, like the one used in Hiroshima. And how could it be transported? Small plane. Citation, Lear. Once it's in the country, it could be driven to the target in an SUV. Hospitals, fire, and police in the immediate vicinity would be decimated. And the bombs are gone, sir. Hell, sir, the weapons could be anywhere. They've made one or more nuclear bombs. And we don't know where they are or where they're headed. You and I must be in immediate contact at all times. We're the primary target. The anniversary of our bombing Afghanistan is coming up. Tell no one about this until we're sure what's going on. I don't know why the hell we still keep these nuclear weapons on hair trigger alert. We would be facing widespread panic, mass evacuations, tens of thousands of refugees. So Al-Qaeda is a nuclear power.